Hayes and Wildcats Soccer would like to welcome you to today's homecoming game between the Bullets from Fairfax, coached by JoJo Lynch, and your Lady Cats of Hazen, coached by Harry Bissett. <laughs> the officials for today's game are Roland Buildings and Scott West. <laughs> Varsity boys will be chasing balls today. And now, playing today for the Fairfax Bullets, Number zero, Cameron Taylor. Number one, Callie Wooster. Number two, Emily Ashton. Number three, Marie LaRose. Number four, Claire Bushy. Number seven, Aliska Jerminski. Number eight, Olivia Parento. Number nine, Molly Wamet. Number 10, Abby Sweet. Number 11, Nikki Koliva. Number 12, JC Douglas. Number 13, Emma Starschmidt. Number 16, Katie Munson. Number 17, Aaron Plouf. Number 18, Anna Sargent. Number 19, Bridget Dunn. <laughs> and now, playing today for your Hazen Union Lady Cats, 0 0, Emily Kimball. <laughs> Number one, Madison Bartlett. <laughs> Number two, Maverick. Murphy. Number three, Gabriella Stanchu. Number four, Riley Brochu. Number five, Cassidy Cochran. Number six, Macy Muller. Number seven, Haley Ledoux. Number nine, Michaela Gilblair. Number 10, Alexis Christensen. Number 11, Abby Ewan. Number 12, Zoe Hislop. Number 13, Joey Hall. Number 14, Kai Gilbert. Number 15, Bethany Conway. Number 16, Patel Doe. Number 17, Lauren Thomas. Number 18, Rhea Apicelli Abel. Number 20, Lily Castle. Number 21, Aiden Carr. Number 23, Natalie Jeffrey. And number 25, Ali Gabarini. Before we have the singing of the national anthem, let's remember good sportsmanship. Everyone came here today to cheer for a team. Please keep it at that. Please stand and remove your hats. The national anthem will be sung by Hazen Select Chorus.
Good afternoon and welcome to beautiful Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Hartford, Vermont. Homecoming weekend, your Lady Cats in action against the Fairfax Bullets. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. How's it going? Pretty good, Griff. How are you? Pretty good. We have yeah. some sponsors for today. We do, right here. All right. As I try to get my wind a little bit here. <laughs> Sponsors for today's game, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days, in-house, made desserts, bullets on the attack. In the early opening part of this game, defense looking to clear, this is Joey Hall, kicking it here to the near side. Out of bounds, we'll have a white throw in. The one nice thing with this, Griff, I got pronunciations for all these girls' names. Oh, that's fantastic. Part of the par part and parcel of doing intros. And I'll tell you, Griff, when you think homecoming weekend, you think clear blue skies, foliage, crisp temperatures. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is the quintessential homecoming weekend. Beautiful. Nice crowd down here. Both teams represented pretty well. And I mean, on a day like today, to drive over here from Fairfax... Must have been a real nice ride. Yep, we've had some days with good colors in the trees. We have some good days with good weather, but this is the day that kind of brings it all together. This is this is just truly spectacular. This is <laughs> there's some boys brought a couch. Have you gotten a shot of the guys down there on the couch? Couch. That's great. That's brilliant. That's the way to watch soccer. Mace the male girl on the move up the middle of the field. Goes over the far side looking for Madison Bartlett. Madison tried to cross block down by the Fairfax defense. Bartlett sticks with her. Homecoming dance last night. I heard it was pretty good. All kinds of student festivities all week. Spirit week, I think they call it. Is that Kai? Kai Gilbert. Kai Gilbert game. back yeah. in action after missing several games with an injury. Zoe Hislop on the far side. The little red machine, Emily Kimball, out to make the stop. Lady Cats looking to mount some offense here. Moeller clears up if Kai can catch it. Ball taken back out. I believe that's Cameron Taylor is their keeper. I know generally the zeros are the keepers, so we're going to assume that's her. That's the one question I didn't get to ask Coach JoJo Lynch when I was going through lineups with her. But yeah, she's, well, she's got a double zero on here. Shot in, Little Red Machine has it bounce up over. Skitters across the mouth of the goal. Lucky there was nobody there to capitalize on that because that goal was wide open all the way across there. And when they go like that, Griff, it seems like it takes forever. Oh, yeah, you're for just, that ball to just on the edge of your seat. Waiting to see what happens to it. <laughs> Corner kick, the most exciting play in all of soccer. That design play where they go back. That was Abby Sweet. I was going for that one. Here comes Macy up the near side. We got Marie LaRose sticking right with her. Macy back to Aiden Carr. Aiden Carr over on the far side. That's Bartlett. She was looking ahead to Kai. Here's Carr again. Has it go off the side of her foot. A couple of bullets right there to pick up on that. One player goes down, Molly Womet. Clear Bushy up ahead. Lefty Jeffrey sure clear this one out as Katie Munson gives chase. We'll have a white throw. Yeah, 
Well, Matt looking to play it ahead. Taken back out by Natalie Lefty Jeffrey. Lily, castles made of sand. Up ahead, Alexis Christensen right there. Macy the male girl looking to deliver here. On the far side, that's Joey Hall clearing up. Kai! Couldn't, I don't think Kai meant to really shoot it from there. But Kai's been out for a few games. She's probably just excited. Kai, I think, would like to have that one back. Looks like we had a injury to number three for our opponents here? That would be Marie LaRose, a sophomore. I was trying to look to get a, an update on the girls' record here. They're one and eight. We beat Richard, uh, oh, about a week and a half ago. Travel to Missisco on Wednesday, then a couple of home games, Oxbow and Danville, then they finish up Friday, October 18th at Winooski, under the lights, 6 p.m. We'll hope LaRose is good. I didn't get a chance to get Fairfax's record either. We have a drop ball. Christensen in there. She had a line for a second, closed up quickly by the defense. Played up by Aaron Plouffe. Molly Womet going against Aiden Carr. Womet and Carr trading some serious pain out there. That's kind of scary when you go knee to knee like that. Christensen yep. up ahead. And we're going to have, and I believe that's offsides. Kind of scary when you see those knee to knee hits. Cleared out, Hislop middle of the field though. Hislop out there to try and get it. Ball trickles up through. Lefty Jeffrey there to clear that one out. Aiden Carr, trap down, turn. Christensen stayed on side. She's beat one player, can she beat another? Nice patience there. Looking to get the ball, here we go. Nice play by Christensen over, Man Macy Moeller. Middle of the field. Can't quite get it. The Bullets rebuff the Hazen attack on that one. Aiden Carr, middle of the field. One player to beat, there we go. Nice pass up ahead, oh, Moeller was on sides. She can get that left foot in with any type of authority. That was a beautiful pass, Amazing. though. Amazing. <laughs> wow. Couldn't quite get the left foot on it with the velocity and the turn that she wanted to, but Christensen up there to challenge on that goal kick. Nice to see the girls up there challenging. We didn't see that a lot in their last game. We were sort of chiding them a little from the rooftop. Definitely being a lot more aggressive today, which is good to see. Moeller, spin, middle of the field. She was looking over at uh, Bartlett, who was open for a second. Ball on the far side, cleared out, Joey Hall. I think I give the Bullets a free kick. Some sort of infraction over there. Hard to tell being way over there on the opposite side. I believe this is Callie Wooster. Thought I saw number one on the back of the jersey. Gonna take this free kick. Down low. 
Now it's a challenge. Lady Cats, ball over there on the corner. Got a couple of bullets open here on the uh, far side, but that shot goes wide. Had a couple of, of bullets that had kind of snuck in the back door on us over here on this near side. Goal kick. Down. <laughs> Jeffrey knocks that one to the far corner. I think it stayed in though. Shot on the side of the goal once again. Goal kick. Taken down. Bullets in control. Misplay, Zoe, get that out of there, back up. Lily Castle plays up, Christensen, nice move, gets it over to Moeller. Moeller going up, taking a look, nice up pass up ahead to Kai. Kai and Scharschmidt race over there. here on the near side, Molly Womet. Womet. Throw, looking up ahead for Anna Sargent. Throw in. Ball down in the corner. Bullets. Pass back. Zoe Hislip clears that one out. Nice trap down by Christensen. Christensen going to lift it. Aaron Plouffe there to knock that one down. White throw. Comes Macy once again, looking up ahead. Throw in white. Nice cross, player there, oh nice. Nice defensive gem right there by Zoe Hislop to get that ball out of there. Throw in white. 26-35 left to go in the first half, no score. In fact, the closest we've had to score is when that one ball trickled across the crease up here in front of Emily Kimball after she had it bounce up over her hands. One left-footed shot taken by Macy Moeller wide down at the far end. Otherwise, the goalies in this game on both sides haven't seen a whole lot of action yet. Macy the male girl back. Aiden Carr. Over. Played over to the side. Oh, no, no. 
Moeller in. Man, she was being played rather handily, I'll say, by Kaylee Wooster. I saw a lot of uh, lot of hands there. A lot of contact. Yeah, no call. Molly Wilmette. Aiden Carr wins that battle. And uh, once again, rather handily taken down. Referee's letting him play today, I guess. At least that's what I see. Do you see that, Griff? Uh, a little bit of push in the back there yeah. to get uh, Aiden off the ball from the defender there. Coach, it was our Hazen Lady Cat girls who knocked Fairfax out of the playoffs last year over in Fairfax. Went on to lose to uh, Oxbow after two overtimes, and uh, yeah, she's off. I'm going to say neither one of them can do anything. They were, we had two players offside. Both Macy and Kai were offside. offside so. And they knew it. They were almost waiting for the Fairfax player to drop back and play it. Uh, like Macy realized she was offside, so yeah. started to walk away. Kai wasn't sure, so she ran towards it, and no. Uh, the Oxbow game, double overtime, then went to penalty kicks. Uh, last year for the Lady Cats, that ended our championship hopes. But uh, And I didn't get to go to the Fairfax game, but I heard it was great. I was here for the boys game that day. But I heard it was a fantastic game. Kai, she'll trade paint with anybody. Kai taking on all three of them, going up ahead. Look at this. Kai Gilbert willing herself in. Go! Both girls down. Kai collided with the goalie. Hired on that one. Fought off three Fairfax defenders to put that in. Tell you, talk about tenacity right there. There was nothing going to stop her from getting that one. Kai Gilbert. Puts the Lady Cats up one zip with 23.04 left to go here in the first class on a spectacular. I'll take on all three of you girls and win. That was an amazing play. Ty Gilbert. I want to see a replay of that. That was pretty incredible. That's going to be. A I mean, she had play. three defenders draped on her and just, you know. And you can see her kind of, kind of limping off now. Yeah. Kai will be back. She's, uh, Kai will be back. Leaves it all out there. Did collide with the goalie, Cameron Taylor. Both both players were down for a few minutes. I think sort of collecting themselves. But uh, wow! And and even through all that grift, she kept her shot low and outside. Went outside. That's one thing Harry Bissett can say. He's instilled in these girls: low and outside. Mace the male girl. Looks over. Aiden Carr. Turn around. Bullets. Looking over here on the near side. Maverick Murphy right down underneath this grip. I think this is the first time she's played in front of us here. Ooh, there's a Fairfax player beating us to the ball on that one. Shot over. Oh, just missed. Just missed. Uh... Couldn't see the number, but whoever the girl was, she just barely missed putting a header into the goal. And heck, I'm thrilled just to have Maverick on our side of the field. Collision. Oh, 
Joey Hall going knee to knee with the Fairfax player. And a sergeant trying to get that last shot off. Fairfax will have a free kick from just uh, not far outside the box. Shot in, down, blocked out. I believe that was Aiden Carr that blocked that one down. Aiden Carr back, Cassidy Cochran trying to turn around Marie LaRose right there. Man, and this game is t getting a little rough. Between the, between the referees letting the girls get kind of liberal with their hands, and we saw Kai do that on her way to the goal, but I mean, mm -hmm. why not? Um, right. It was, they were calling it both ways. Macy gets a nice break. Stayed on side. She's in. One on one. Low. And that's like goal. Macy Muller gives the Lady Cats a 2 0 lead here. She beat the defense back. Stayed on side. Beautiful feet up ahead. And that will put your Hazen Union Lady Cats up by a score of 2 0 with 20 21 left to go here in the first half. This is about as exciting as it gets. I think Coach Jojo Lynch wanted an offside. It was close. Have to check the replay on that one. There we go. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors for today's homecoming action. Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Seven days in-house made desserts. Hey, your Hazen Union Lady Cats up by a score of two zip, courtesy of goals by Kai Gilbert and Macy Moeller. Griff on camera. Uh, just a picture perfect homecoming weekend here at Hudson Fields, Hazen Union High School in Hard Vermont. Doesn't get any better than this. The weather, the crowd, the scenery, the score. The score line is great. Yeah. There we go. Ball is through ahead once again. Joey Hall up ahead. Macy was offside. She can't touch it. Now I'm going to say they had to call it. Good to see, though, mounting the offensive attacks that we have. Yeah, I was told by, uh, you know, Corey Maskell was the Hazen girls coach last year, and he said that he wanted – his players to get more offsides calls. That means they're being aggressive and right. trying to trying to juke out the defenders. There's Joey playing it up ahead, looking for Macy, intercepted by Callie Wooster. We're gonna have a catch free kick here. Ali Gabari. She'll shoot from here, Griff. <laughs> nice pass. Looking over, though. Moeller, once again, on the far side this time. Looking to turn. Puts a high shot high up over the net. Nice play, though. Cross field. Allie's got the foot and the leg to get it there. Aiden Carr trading paint with Olivia Parento. Oh no, excuse me, that is uh, Molly Womet. White throw. Kelly Wooster. Oh, actually, they're going to take a free kick. Taken down by Gabbery. Throw in. Bridget Dunn. No, Anna Sargent, excuse me. Anna Sargent. 
I look down and I see one number, then they turn and it's another, you know? <laughs> Gabri. That's a chunk up ahead. Wooster back to play it. Taken up by Cameron Taylor. Punt. Midfield. Jeffrey. Spinner. Back down, which will be scooped up once again by Taylor. I believe that was number 15, Bethany Conway on the far side. A freshman for the Lady Cats on the team loaded with freshmen. A few seniors, a few juniors. A lot of freshmen, though. Young team. High kick up. Kimball. Woo! The little red machine. Going to give the bullets a corner kick. Design play back, set up, cross, trap down. I would say, Griff, the Hazen defense has been resilient so far. I would agree with that, yep. They've done a good job of rebuffing, is that the word you yes. used earlier? Yes. That was a good one. Is that used correctly, though? Um, I'm not the person to ask. <laughs> When we, get, when we get a moment, Griff, if there's another break in the action, I will tell you a hilarious story involving our friend, the always professional Matt Reno. <laughs> the always professional Matt Reno. Yes. All right. So one of the, uh, as Hazen gets ready to take the free cut, one of the days, I think this where you could, uh, decade dress-up day or something was one of the days this week. Okay. So my youngest daughter, Lydia, found a leather jacket and a white T-shirt. I think she, I don't know if she was confused between the 50s and the 80s or trying to do them both or what, you know? She kind of looked like the Fonz meets an 80s rocker, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and Matt was sort of, you know, giving her a little crap because she wasn't exactly sure what decade she was dressed up as. And Matt, of course, was wearing what he usually wears. <laughs> and he said to Lydia, he says, well, what decade do you think I'm dressed up as? And without even batting an eyelash, Lydia says, the Great Depression. <laughs> Classic if there ever was one. He said he was properly burned on that one. <laughs> Shot down in flames. We have a card. We got a yellow card. Yellow card against Natalie, Natalie Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Yep. I think they're more apt to give you a yellow card if you are um, kind of one of the last people defending. I don't think she it was like a clear path to the goal. I don't think she was the last defender, but uh, she definitely kind of I don't know got in there while. I saw her kind of. Get a little handy with the hands again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shot taken down. I think that was Lily Castle, wasn't it? Knocked that one down, I believe. Back out. Molly Womet takes down Ali Gabri. 14 minutes left to go here in the first half. Ali, big kick up ahead. Ball here in the near corner. Bullets players give chase. Cassidy Cochran right there. Keeps it in. You're out of bounds though. We're going to have a white throw. Aaron Plouffe for the Bullets. Throws it in. Looks up over. Blue throw. Maverick Murphy. <laughs> Willie Castle back in. Trio of four cats right there. And offsides. 
Nice attack. We had four offensive players up there, unfortunately. We needed that bullets, at least one bullets defender in there to keep everybody on side. Didn't happen on that one. But a great effort. Bullets looking to move up, taking out Lily Castle. Cross field, far end, Christensen. Goes up, Cochran gives chase on the far side. Keeps it in. Macy gets it over, looking for Maverick. Fairfax, cross, blocked out. Nice play, Joey Hall blocks that one out. Corner kick. Corner kick, Womet. Right there in front of the goal. Nobody could get it though. Taken out, Maverick. Nice play over, Macy. Moeller here on the near side, in the middle, in the middle, going over, looking over, nice pass. Madison Bartlett on the far side. She's gonna look to make a play back, Christensen. Couldn't quite get it. Moeller, up ahead, Maverick. <laughs> Trying to work in a goose reference to Maverick. <laughs> Moeller, nice cross. Maddie Bartlett knocks it down, trying to go inside, cleared out, taken down. Maverick knocks that one down. Moeller trying to keep it in, keeps it in. Down there on the end line. Back, here's Maverick line, a nice give and go back to Moeller. Moeller was looking back for Maverick once again. Nice passing down there. Ball stays in here on the near side. Katie Munson trying to move it up for Fairfax. Aaron Ploof gets a foot on it. Middle of the field. Claire Bushy, far side. Nikki Koliva, number 11. Lily Castle working on Katie Munson. Shot, blocked down. Moeller tries to get it out. Fairfax player down. She's back up. It's Claire Bushy down. Eight forty and the clock ticking here in the first half. Your Hazy Union Lady Cats up by a score of two zero. Ball, far side. 
That's number nine. That's Michaela Gilblair in there. If I'm seeing a number nine correctly over there. Bullets. Gonna have a free kick from here. Just about on the on the line for the box. Backing her up just a little bit. But still, not all that far off from a PK, eh? Pretty close. See what the little red machine can come up with. Knocks it down, makes a grab. Nice play. The freshman goalie, Emily Kimball, the little red machine. And a nice punt out to midfield. Helping her offense out. Here's Moeller on the near side. Maverick. Ghost Rider has to hit the brakes. Lily Castle. Claire Bushy on the attack for the Bullets. Lefty Jeffrey gets the foot in there. Bushy sticks with her. Jeffrey goes down. Castle tries to make a play. Riley Brochu in as well. Joey Hall down. Ball still in. I think they were expecting down to that far end. Nice play. Jeffrey puts it in off the, uh, or puts it out off the Fairfax player. I don't know what was really going on, whether they expected that ball to roll out or not, but it wasn't. 5.39 left to go in the first half. Cats up, two zip. Gabari up ahead on the far side. Christensen over there with Emma Scharschmidt. And I'll tell you, Griff, I'll truly date myself here. There's an old NFL films click that the Giants at one time, I think back in the 80s or maybe it was the 90s, I can't remember, had a tight end named Mark Bavaro. Okay. They called him Rambo. He kind of looked like Sylvester Stallone from the Rambo movies, all that stuff, you know. But he was a heck of a tight end. And there's one clip where they show him catching a pass, and he's running, and a defender gets on him, and he keeps going, and another defender jumps on him, and he keeps going. He ends up dragging, like, five guys for, like, 30 yards, you know? It's one of the more iconic clips that you see everywhere. You don't see it as often as you used to, but mm -hmm. when you do, you remember the play. And that's all I could think of when Kai was going down there with those three girls yeah. just draped all over. Looking like Mark, Mark Bavaro in that catch, you know? I'll have to look that up now on YouTube. That's pretty impressive. It was. I mean, she had three girls draped all over, and then she still had the goalie to beat. Joey Hall high up in the air, middle of the field, brought down. I believe that's Patel. Is that Patel? Patel here on the near side. Trying to play Riley Brochure right underneath this as well. As the ball go out, throw in Molly Wamet. Up ahead. Jeffrey, that'll go out of bounds. White throw. Molly Wamet, a sophomore for the Bullets. They come ahead for Katie Munson, a senior. Wamet. Cross, nice cross, trap down. Cross, players there, goal, and you could almost see it coming. The way they had sort of drawn the defense over, and I don't have a number. I'm hoping you'll get me one, Griff. I'll get you one as soon as she turns around here. Number 11. Number 11, that is Nikki Koli Koliva. Nikki Koliva 
a sophomore for the Bullets. Closes the lead to 2-1 to one with 3.49 left to go here in the first half. And you, you could almost see the defense getting sucked over to this side. Then they crossed over and there were like a couple of Fairfax players there. Tough play. Let's see if the Cats' defense can rebound now. Shot. Goal! Beautiful goal. Was that Madison that got that? Yeah, I think that was Madison. Uh, no, I, I guess know. it was that Macy. Was, okay, it was Macy. All right, I was we'll going to say. To Madison, everybody was checking to yeah. see if Madison was, it was okay. Okay, okay, that's she, what uh, I was thinking she had gotten it originally. I couldn't quite see the number on the turn. So Macy Moeller, her second goal of the game, puts the catch right back up as they are a resilient. Have I, I already used resilient, right? Yeah, but, you know, it, it, it works twice. Showing great resiliency there. Oh, yeah. To rebound from giving up that one goal and get right back in it by going back up by two. Macy Moeller. The male girl, Macy the male girl, she delivers two goals on a rocket of a shot. Throw in Hazen. Free kick, bullets. Hi, little red machine over there on the side of the net. Emily Kimball gathers that one in. Punt here to the near side. Here's Macy. She got two goals already. Looking for the hat trick here on homecoming. Stuck with it. Aiden Carr, beautiful trap down. Joey has that one go under her foot. Trying to stick with Claire Bushy. Bushy cross, trap down, wide. Katie Munson just going wide on that one. Goal kick, Cats. Riley Brosho. Played back up by Fairfax. Lily. Castle's made of sand. Sub action. 40 seconds left to go here in the first half. Riley has that one go off the outside of her thigh. Handball. Got to call that when it happens right in front of you, don't you? <laughs> it was right in front of the right referee. Right in front yeah. of it. <laughs> Hard to let that one go. Although basically overall, I think they, I think they've played a uh, the referees have called a very good game. We had the one yellow against us with uh, Natalie. The girls were getting a little handy there in the beginning. It seems to have toned down just a little bit now, and that will end the first half with the Or Hazen Uni Lady Cats up by a score of three to one, courtesy of two goals, two count of two goals by Macy the male girl Moeller, and a and a I'm trying to her her leaky her leaky limb like you know. 
Uh, you know, oh, I'm, man. I'm trying to pr Herculean? pronounce the Herculean, Herculean ah, yeah. effort uh -huh. uh, hey. by Kai Gilbert on the first goal. She dragged three defenders up with her and then beat the goalie. Uh, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable there. Let's give uh, Fairfax, though, uh, Nikki Koliva with scoring their goal. Um, make the score 3-1. to one. Sponsors today, Woolly Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., and the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days in-house made desserts. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV. Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera, we're going to have some. And we're back about one minute away from second half action here as your Hazen Union Lady Cats in homecoming action here against the Fairfax Bullets by your Lady Cats lead by a score of 3-1. to one. Off of goals, two goals by Macy Moeller and one by Kai Gilbert. And I think we have decided, Griff, the word is Herculean. Herculean, Herculean yes. like effort there um, by Kai Gilbert on that first goal. That was amazing. Uh, Nikki Koliva scored for the Fairfax Bullets to uh, pull them within one goal. We were up uh, only two, went up two, one up, two zero, then two one off of Koliva's goal, and then it was Macy on a beautiful shot from outside. Put us back up 3-1. to one. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on the local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. Our sponsors today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days, in-house made desserts. And I'll tell you, Griff, what's been fun to watch in the game is the way our girls have been playing aggressive, going to the ball. We've seen them... Uh, couple of offsides calls where we've had like four players offsides but they're up there ready to go and I yeah. think that's uh that's a great effort I think uh Kai Gilbert's presence is kind of being felt she's definitely uh she plays pretty aggressive definitely a, a, a striker you know and yeah uh, the whole team is moving a little bit forward it's a, a, a very Mark Bavaro type play go if you don't if you don't know what I'm talking about go to YouTube and look up Mark Bavaro, the catch, or something like that, you know, and you'll see that play where he dragged all those defenders with him. That's exactly what Kai did. That was amazing. But we've seen some beautiful passing as well. Those uh, two goals that Macy scored were all fantastic passes. Nice feeds. Uh, that second goal of hers was real pretty. Turn around, shot from outside, low and outside. Yep. Bullets looking to put on mount some form of attack here in the early going of the second half. Once again, homecoming weekend here at Hazen Union High School, Hudson Fields. Zoe Hissel with the header down, Aiden Carr up ahead on as spectacular a homecoming weekend as you could ever ask for. Foliage at peak, temperatures crisp, skies blue, hometown crowd. Bethany Conway right underneath is going to do the throw in for the Lady Cats. Looks ahead, Gabriella Stanchu, Conway. Play, nice play over, going over on the far side. There's Kai trying to get a foot on it, can't do it. Stanchu up ahead, Conway. Back. I think if we had gotten to that griff, they were going to call us for offsides. It looked like both girls were off. Yeah, maybe. It was close. Moeller playing against Emily Ashton. Throw in. Aiden Carr. Drops it in. Maddie Bartlett over. Maddie Bartlett back on it, looking to get the turn. Ball bouncing around. Here's Moeller, had a line, still trying to get a line, tried to put the little soft shot. That was Callie Worcester playing right with her. Macy tried the little chip, little chip shot in there. Sometimes those work. Nikki Koliva. Fairfax, middle. 
Zoe didn't quite get the foot on that she wanted. Recovers nicely, though. Back over to cover. Shot in wide on the little red machine. Joey Hall with the Lady Cats goal kick. Far side, Lily Castle. Trying to play that one. Fairfax player in. Cross shot wide. I don't know if she was going to shoot or cross on that one. Joey Hall, middle. Aiden Carr gets it over. Taken down. Intercepted by the Bullets. Bullets. Up ahead. Kimball down. Saved by the Little Red Machine, Emily Kimball. The Little Red Machine, of course, in reference to her older brother, Elliot Kimball, who is the Big Red Machine. Going to college out in western Pennsylvania. About a 12-hour ride from here. Yeah, that's a long ways out to yeah. western Pennsylvania. Conway, cross field. A couple of players go down. Both going to get up. Muller draws the double team. Going to have a whistle. Free kick, Hazen. Joey Hall up ahead, looking Muller trapped down. Ball goes under Stanchu's foot. Gonna get a second shot at it though here. I think Aiden Carr, there's Stanchu. Pass over, Maddie Bartlett. Maddie almost with a Lord of the Dance-like move there to get that ball up through there. Joey clears it up through. Moeller plays it up. Throw in Emily Ashton. Off the back of uh, Jermensky, I think. Ball dropped up over. If Kai can get to that one, she'd have had a one-on-one -on -one with the goalie once again, and that would have been exciting. Back there, Kaylee Wooster. I've been pronouncing it Kaylee. I believe it's Kaylee I just heard somebody say down here. One of my favorite Marillion songs. Kaylee. 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 <laughs> Moeller tries to move Stanchu back, middle of the field. Five white jerseys there against four. That's on sides. Maddie Bartlett inside. She's going to get the shot. Wooster back with her. Number one against number one. Maddie Bartlett turnaround. No, taken out. Defense. Everybody staying on this side. So it must be a corner kick. I believe so. Everybody trying to catch their breath on that one. The Bullets defense looking to redeem themselves here in this second half. Moeller out there, bounce around, trying to do anything to get a shot.
And underneath us walking by with what looks like a grilled cheese and tomato soup. Be good to have on a day like today. Go over there and sit on the couch with the boys. Watch the game. Or if that came from the snack shack. Good break. Let me see if I can find this person. Right down there in the purple. Yeah. Grilled cheese and tomato soup. And there's our couch friends over there. Yeah. Corner oh. kick. <laughs> Maddie Bartlett, midfield. Moeller. Carr couldn't quite get to that one. Played up by Fairfax, though. Nice block down by Zoe Hislop. Shot down, taking out Bethany Conway. Emily was right behind her to make the save, but Bethany Conway, the freshman, knocked it out anyway. Give the bullets the corner kick. Abby Sweet trots over to the far side. Take the corner kick for the bullets. 29-54 and counting. Left to go in the game. Lady Cats up 3-1. Katie Munson has parked herself right in front of the little red machine. Shot high. Hazen goal kick. Gabbery up. Lily Castle gets a foot on it. Get down, shot through Kimball. Once again, Munson lurking right nearby. I got to believe if there's any type of scrum, any type of misplay down there, Katie Munson's going to be all over it. That is, uh, I'm hearing a big buzz here. Griff. Yep, I am too. Hang on. <laughs> Aiden Carr. <laughs> Madison Bartlett. Madison Bartlett moving inside, getting across. Maddie sticking with it. No, blocked out. Did we take care of the buzz? I guess we did. Okay, okay there cool. we go. We're back. All right. Sorry about that. The perils of being a one-man <laughs> camera sound tech, camera crew sound tech here. That's right. <laughs> Zoe and Joey on the far side. Corner kick, bullets. Gabbery gets in there on a Gabbery. Foot on it. Carr out. Aiden Carr trying to make a play. Willie Castle. Here's Kai. Kai Gilbert up ahead. Kaylee Wooster with her. Kai pitches back. And I believe, Griff, this Bullets defense fears Kai Gilbert. I would. Stanchu, nice play over to Christensen. 
Christensen up ahead. Nice play by uh, the uh, Fairfax player. I don't have a name for her. Or if that's 22, it's Bailey LaForce, if my program is right. Nikki Koliva on the throw in. She has the lone goal for the Bullets in the match. 26 minutes left in the game. Cross, blocked out. Hislop has that one go off her ankle. Let's go, stay alive, Blue, let's go. Throw in, Scharschmidt. Bullets player goes down, they're gonna have a free kick just outside the box. Just a tiny bit of wind blowing. If you're standing here looking at the goal, it's blowing from right to left. You can see the flag just beyond it out straight. Whether that'll play a factor or not. Abby Sweet gonna take the kick. Wide. Bullets player in the vicinity. I think that was Molly Womet on the far side looking to maybe get a body or a head in there to maybe misdirect it. Couldn't quite get it there. Ball over on the far side. Coming across. Goal kick. Gabri lines up. Kick. Shot down Kimball on a ground shot. It was low and outside, but didn't quite have the velocity on it. That shot was taken outside by Abby Sweet. Corner kick. Wide. Seeing a lot more of the bullets down on our end of the field as opposed to the first half, where we kept it up in their end quite a bit. Yep. So they made a few adjustments at halftime. Moeller. Far side, taken out, LaForce. Bailey LaForce. Claire Bushy going in against uh, Conway and Zoe Hislop. Corner kick. Abby Sweet, the junior for the Fairfax Bullets. Hislop plays it out. Aiden Carr trying to get there. Christensen trying to get it out. Fairfax retains possession. Setting things up here. High. You can almost see things sort of unfolding the way it was on their first goal they got, you know, Griff? 
kind of shifting the defense yeah, away, and then way. all of a sudden, yeah. Somebody over here, you could see that kind of almost opening up again. Shot went high. Aiden Carr. Stanchy with her. Carr moves it up. Kai. Kai Gilbert pitches up ahead. Gabri couldn't get on that one. Cameron Taylor coming out to play that one. Almost Ethan Shopland like. Hislop, knocks that one out, shot on, save. The Little Red Machine is on her game today. Elbow to the back of Aiden Carr by Emma Scharschmidt. Carr up ahead, LaForce, way up high, back into the Hazen zone. Joey Hall on the far side. White throw. I believe we've got a JV game going over there on the far game. Yeah, too. that's it. JV boys playing. Wall-to-wall -wall soccer today. Boy, the varsity boys will be playing Danville. Second half of the homecoming doubleheader. That game at, uh, what is it, 4.30, I believe? Uh, four. Four, okay. That's right, four. 1.30 and four, yeah. It's, I keep getting those times messed up. It's driving my wife nuts. Kaliva across. Wide. Almost a dangerous play, though, with Emily letting that roll across and not going out. The Fairfax yeah. player getting the, the the foot on it. Tough angle, but doable. Seems like Emily was content with letting it roll out of bounds, yeah. and uh, there was another player there she did not expect. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Once again, I want to thank our sponsors for today's game. Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. Open 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. 8 p.m. Let me start that over, Griff. Okay. The Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Seven days in-house made desserts. Griff on camera. We have a Fairfax player down. I didn't see that as I was looking at the sponsor sheet. What happened, Griff? I believe that was a player who was trying to defend Allie while Allie was kicking the ball away from, you know, trying right. to clear the ball away. And uh, take a shot to the leg. Looks like she got on the end of the Allie kick. It's not been good. That's Abby Sweet. Fairfax, a double tough team. I don't think you're going to see them go down that easily. 18-48 left to go in the game. Once again, your Hazen Union Lady Cats up by a score of 3-1. to one. It was Nikki Kaliva scoring <coughs> for the Bullets. <coughs> Excuse me. Our opening goal came by Kai Gilberts and then Macy Moeller put in two others. Macy, well, I bet you she'd love to get that one more, have the hat trick here on homecoming. I believe we're going to have a drop ball right down here in front of us, Griff. Yep. This is exciting. Nice. Almost a little hockey action here. Yeah. Well, you know, the NHL did kick off this past Wednesday. My beloved Canadians opened up their season with a loss, of course. but Oh, well. We'll get them next time. Katie Munson. Goes across. Back out. It's Molly Womet. Maddie Bartlett was looking ahead for Cochran. 
Alley, Gabri, and we're offsides. Cassidy's offsides. Free kick bullets. Castle throw in. Now we're going to have a white throw. My other prediction, Griff, is by the time I say the girls, the boys' game ends, I think we're going to need coats. That breeze, sun's Excuse nice, me. but the breeze is just a tiny bit chilly when it comes out. Yeah, we with, are officially in October now, so you never know. Yeah, with that other, uh, the second game tipping off at four. Time it winds down, you know, 5.30, quarter, six or so. Conway. Clears that one out as Zoe and uh, couldn't see the number. Fairfax player got tied up there. Bethany Conway playing against Scharschmidt. Crosses, Zoe, Scharschmidt inside. Joey Hall cleared that end out. Who is that right there? Katie Munson waiting to pounce. Shot on, wide. Nice clear out on inside by Zoe by uh, Joey Hall. <coughs> Joey with the goal kick. Maverick. Murphy, the ghost rider, back in and on our side of the field, Griff. Defense needs to clear. Shot down, ball bottled, and score. I believe that was that a number four I saw on her? Four, yes. Yep. That is uh, Claire Bushy. And just like that, these bullets back in it now. 15-26 left to go in the game. Claire Bushy brings them to within one, score 3-2. Ball that went down, Emily got a hand on it, bobbled. Bushy right there to put it in. And, we, and we've seen a number of those trickle right across the goal mouth. And we've gotten quite a lucky on a few of them and not so lucky on that one. That time there was a Bullets player in the vicinity. New life. See if these cats can return the favor and score a goal now. I'm just searching for our words, Griff. <laughs> Bullets right back down again, applying pressure. There's a cross. Wide. <laughs> Corner kick, the most exciting play in all of soccer. Bullets line up. We'll try it again. Joey Hall knocks that one down. Okay. Third time. Yep. 
We saw them earlier in this game going for those kind of set plays. Yeah. But this time they're just, they're just going to right for the goal the right there. Yeah. yeah. And I'm watching number 11, Nikki Kaliva, playing against Maverick Murphy on the outside. I'm thinking if that thing can float over the defense, it'd be right there. Also got Aaron Plouffe parked right in front of, of Kimball. Just like that. Hi. Bethany Conway goes down. Aaron Plouffe right there. It's pretty much just what you had uh, anticipated there. Yeah. She had, you know, uh, Plouffe's got a, a height, definite height advantage over Maverick. So it all kind of only made sense. Moeller playing against Plouffe. Moeller. Tried to touch pass over to Aiden Carr. Didn't get there. And a whistle. We're going to have a bullets free kick. Bullets looking to set up quick before the defense gets back. Referee whistles down, wants to bring the ball back a little bit more. They were trying to set up something quick before the defense could fall back. 12.35 and ticking here in the match. Cats clinging to that 3-2 lead. Moeller knocks that one down. Bullets. Lady Clats. Need to get the ball up over midfield. Put a few shots back here. Taylor. She's been the Maytag repairman back here during this second half. Not a whole lot of action for her. Moeller, nice pass over to Bartlett. Going out to play. Kaylee, Wooster. Once again, Katz get it to midfield only to be rocked back. left to go in the match. Bullets, corner kick. Trap down, turn around, shot in, in the middle. Kimball comes out, makes the play. Nice save, the little red machine in traffic. Players and feet and dust and everything tangled right up in there and the young freshman goes down to make the scoop. See if the Cats can mount an attack. Kaylee Wooster, been playing double tough back here for the Bullets. Maddie Bartlett, Maddie Bartlett gets by. Maddie Bartlett on the far side. Cats throw. Zoe over here on the near side. Maverick on the throw. Looks over for Aiden Carr. Played by Emma Scharschmidt. Kaylee Wooster. Scharschmidt gets by Maverick. Up, middle of the field. Joey Hall, feet up, ball go through. We're on side. Maddie Bartlett with Wooster. Wooster sticks right with her. Maddie Bartlett here in the near corner. Maddie still playing. Maverick into Maddie. Maddie cross. Looking for Kai. Kai. 
Aiden Carr beats Ploof. Puts a little bit of a shot on it. Taylor comes out, makes a rare save here, or at least touches the ball here in the second half. All right now, Blue, let's put the line. Come on. 8.30 left to go here in the match. Be nice to see our Lady Cats push that cushion back up to one, uh, two goals. 3-2 your score. Maverick Murphy. Trots off. Madison Bartlett takes one to the schnoz. Stanchu goes between the referee's legs. Blue throw. Now they're going to give it to Whites. I think he's just stopping the clock. Are they, or is he staying blue throw? I think he's just holding his hand up for the clock. Yeah, blue throw. Clearly off way. Drop pass. Aiden Carr. Can't get it by Emily Ashton. Stanchu. Here come the bullets up the near side. Conway, it was Conway knocking Ploof down. That's going to give the Bullets the free kick with seven minutes left to go in the match. Abby Sweets lining up. Taking the free kick. Conway gets the body on it, knocks it down. Zoe Hislop high, out of bounds. Sweets going to throw it in. Bullets playing fast here. Conway knocking down. Once again, Conway, just a freshman, playing good out here. Kimball, save on the long shot by Claire Bushy. The little red machine looks up ahead for Moeller. Nice trap down by Moeller. Played up ahead by Christensen. Moeller once again. Cats just having trouble maintaining possession over half field. We could get just a couple of good runs at the Fairfax Bullets goal and keep it up here. I'm thinking, Griff. You were able to, you know, kind of make something out of nothing on a couple of goals that we got. So, 5:40 left to go in the game. Cats clinging, 3-2. Certainly still anybody's ball game out here right now. Going to be a long shot. Rocket knocked down. Bethany Conway right there. That shot was coming in on Kimball. Wide. Just wide. 5-10 left. I think we're playing a little too much footsie with fate down here. Lady Cats almost daring the Bullets to score on him back here. Lefty Jeffrey. Middle of the field, played out. Zoe Hislop on the clear. Same old story though, midfield. And one on one, wide. Oh Lord, Nikki Colivo could have had her second goal. She had drawn Kimball over here to the near side. The whole other side of the net was wide open. 4.20. Gabbery. Knocked down, bullets. Field. Kai gives chase. 
Carr. Played back, Jeffrey up. Zoe over here to the side. 325 left to go in the game. Throw in Ashton. Conway tries to get it out. Kaliva in it again. Taking out lefty Jeffrey. Moeller. Up. Got some room here. Kaylee Wooster back in. Gabbery up. Kaylee Wooster on the far side. Kai Chip and Chase over there. White throw, 240 in the match. Left to go. Taken down by Christensen. Kai over there trying to get a foot on it. Ball comes under. Lefty Jeffrey bullets. Man, you got to hand it to the Fairfax Bullets. They're out there playing. Yep, even when they were down by two. Twice they've been down by two and come back. Scratch back into this one. Man, and I'll bet you Nikki Kaliva's going to see that last shot that went wide in her sleep tonight. White throw, two minutes left to go in the match. All the Cats really need to do is clear it up here. There we go, there's a start. White throw. Christensen, bullet player right there. Played over on the far side by John Sperry. Unfortunately, it's going to give the white bullet Fairfax Fairfax bullets a throw in. Fairfax player goes down, comes back up. 125, Maddie Bartlett's looking for Moeller. Going back the opposite way now. Abby Sweets. Turnaround, Maddie Bartlett's. Moeller once again. Let's see if she can get by. Kaylee Wooster, I tell you, look at these girls go at it. It's Emily Ashton. Here's Moeller. Ashton shoving her all the way up through. Are we going to have a whistle? Yes. At last. I mean, with, they haven't called much when one girl's been pushing it, you know, but when two girls get pushed it, <laughs> I guess you got to make the call. When you put three hands on yeah. a player, then it's a foul. 50 seconds left. Allie Gabry over, played up by Moeller. Kai on the far side. Can't reach it. Can she going to get there? Taylor goes down, 40 seconds. Clock ticking down, 25 seconds. Can't sign up for the corner kick. Kind of what we needed all along though, just get the ball up here and hold it in. Gabri gonna take the corner. Maddie Bartlett out. Bartlett. And that will end it with your Hayes and Union Lady Cats in a stirring 3-2 victory over the resilient Fairfax Bullets. So like Griff said, we're down two goals on two different occasions. Uh, it was Nikki Coliva and Claire Bushy scoring for the Bullets. But... It was your Hazy Union Lady Cats with a 3-2 victory. Macy Moeller, two goals. Kai Gilbert got our first goal, and that almost sort of set the tone for the game, didn't it? Absolutely, yeah. You know, just uh, that big cushion in the beginning of the game between Kai and Macy, and they were able to hold on. Great passing, great ball movement, and uh, able to get it done. A uh, little bit of luck involved as well, as we did have some Bullets players miss some, some wide open nets here in the second half. So, you know, the old saying, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, too, you know? And, uh, but we saw a 
a nice combination of luck and good out here on both sides, really. Uh, just a great game. Great hard-fought game. Um, nice refereeing by the refs. I didn't think they missed a whole lot. And uh, your Hazy Union Lady Cats will push their record to 2-8 and eight now with this homecoming victory in front of a uh, really nice big hometown crowd here. 3-2 to two was the final. We'll be back uh, a little bit later for the boys game. Sounds great. Take care. We'll see you then.